All right, so I'm going to walk you through the agency freedom framework, which is simply a way to look at your agency to understand where the specific opportunities are to create the traction that you need in order to be moving towards and ultimately achieving time and financial freedom. So there's four different areas, lead generation, nurture and qualify, closing sales, and service delivery. So without getting too crazy, we'll just jump into each one of these here. And then uh, I want you to get a piece of paper and just write down which one of these uh, descriptions under these sections sounds most like your current situation. All right. Okay, first one, let's look at lead generation. So we'll start from the bottom, which would be poor. So leads are not predictable and typically come through word of mouth. Needs work would be lead sources are predictable, but mainly come from one source other than word of mouth, uh, and they're not diversified. Okay, on par would be lead sources are diversified and predictable. And then excellent is lead sources are diversified and predictable and can be increased or decreased with ease. So you have control over how much is coming through. All right. Okay, so go ahead and select which one is the most like your current situation. And let's jump to the next one, which is nurture and qualify. Okay, so let's talk about poor. So poor would be leads that come in, do not receive any additional nurturing. You don't, you don't nurture them at all. You don't help them to move to that next step. Needs work would be leads are nurtured, but don't go through any kind of qualification process. So you're not really qualifying your leads. On par would be leads are nurtured for a limited, limited amount of time um, and includes a qualification process. And excellent is leads are constantly being nurtured and qualified through various offers. Okay, so select which one sounds most like you. Don't overthink it, just what's your gut. Uh, if you're feeling like there's w between one and the other, um, that's okay, but I'd really encourage you to pick that one that is most like that. That's gonna serve you the best, okay? All right, let's move on to the next, which is closing sales. All right, so poor would be sales are happening, but they all involve the owner who isn't confident in their sales abilities. And as a result, um, they're being undersold. These projects are being undersold for the amount of value that you're actually providing. That would be poor. Okay, needs work is sales are happening for the right dollar amount, but the owner is still involved and the only one capable of selling and closing consistently. Okay, on par would be there's a sales team, but the owner still needs to be involved in a lot of the sales, right? Especially in situations where like the owner is the one that's going to get the right dollar amount where the team might not be. All right, that's on par. And then excellent is all sales are being done by a sales team who's capable of consistently closing sales for the right dollar amounts. That's excellent. All right, so go ahead and pick the one that seems most like you, and then we'll move on to the last section which is service delivery. Okay, so poor is owner is trading time for money and doing all the work themselves. Needs work is owner is trading time for money and uses some third party vendors, contractors when they get busy or prefer and they prefer not to delegate. On par is agency is trading time for money but by doing all the work in, with internal resources, uh, revenue growth is predictably tied to staffing and the need to hire more people, especially when things get busy, uh, which limits the scalability uh, and or high margins. All right, excellent is agency is using the leverage service model and stays lean by hiring customer facing positions only and relying on partners outsourcing to do the work and therefore having limited scalability while maintaining amazing margins. That would be excellent. All right, so go ahead and pick the one that seems most like you, um, and then we'll move on to this last page here. So I want you to summarize. Let, let me get my little face out of here. Okay, there we go. So I want you to summarize, okay, in each of these areas, service delivery, closing sales, qualified nurturing leads, and lead generation, the way that you want to focus in on this is anything that is poor is an area for you to focus on. Okay, and if you have two things that are, are low scored, like they're both poor, then we always like to start from the bottom first. So let's say that you had qualified nurture leads was poor, but so was lead generation. 
was also poor, you would always start with the thing that's lower in on the pyramid. And so if you need help coming up with ideas of how to impact these categories, what I'd encourage you to do, um, depending on how you got access to this video, if this is something that I sent to you, or if this is something that you might have got from uh, an email or wherever we publish this, uh, what I'd encourage you to do is just reply back or comment. Um, if you want, screenshot or write out what it is that your, your, your evaluation on each of these areas. Um, let me know uh, which one is the one that you want to focus on. And if you're having any trouble coming up with what it is you should be doing as that next step, uh, let me know and I can help craft that with you. Um, so hopefully this was helpful. Um, this is what I used in my agency. Ultimately, um, it wasn't as pretty as this when we, when we put it together, but we figured out, it's like, all right, we need each of these components to work seamlessly for me to actually create an agency that's providing that time and financial freedom where now today I have both feet out of my agency, I still own it, I have an amazing leadership team that runs it, and they're following these processes each quarter to look at where do we need to focus and what kind of projects do we need to bring in to make sure that each of these things are always being improved. And here's the deal, when you improve one area, another area breaks. When we improve lead generation, qualification might suffer. When we close more sales, service delivery might suffer. And if that's happening, that is actually really good news. If a part of your business is broken uh, because of an improvement you made somewhere else, you're moving in the right direction, even though it may not totally feel like it. So again, hope, <clears throat> hopefully this was super helpful. <clears throat> Let me know what questions I can answer for you. And uh, we'll talk soon.